Alright, welcome to another tutorial brought to you by Brockitis. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to make a sphere again because there are many ways of making spheres. And if you haven't seen my first one, my first one's this one. And it's just basically how to make a sphere with circles and glares. This one, I'm going to show you how to make another type of sphere. Let's open up Photoshop. Mine's really slow, so excuse me, please. Okay, so you got Photoshop open. Go to File, New. Let's open us a new one. That's good. We'll do this sphere vid two. Alright, and we'll do background color. And we'll set our paint bucket and go to our foreground color as black and paint it in. Alright, you want to go into filter, render, lens flare, and you want to check 105 millimeter. Alright, so you've got that selected, and you don't want to change the position of your flare at all. Alright, so now you want to go into distort, polar, coordinate, coordinates, whatever, coordinates. Alright, and you want it to look like this, all wavy, like that. And there's there's a reason for this chaos, trust me. Alright, now take that and go to image adjustments, no, uh, rotate canvas. You want to rotate 180 degrees, just flip it. Alright, so you want to go into filter, distort, polar coordinates again. And go into rectangular to polar. All right, so there's your there's your sphere sphere, and uh, you can do whatever you want with it. It's not hard at all. Anyone can do it. Um, and you can do other stuff with it, like get your elliptical marquee tool and. Set you a circle around it. Like that. And then go to edit, free transform, and shrink it down. Oh, shoot. I hate it when that happens. Just never works out just right. I don't want to do. Okay, elliptical marquee tool again. And hold down shift to make sure you get a complete circle. It helps, trust me. Uh, see? It didn't help me. <laughs> or, I let go of it before I clicked. Alright, so. I have an idea, that's what I'll do. Free transform. Won't let me. So we'll do. That's how you trick Photoshop right there, my friends. <sighs> I take that back. Alright, so you have your sphere selected. 
you can do what I like to do is select inverse grab your eraser make it really big alright and select inverse again and then you can go into image adjustments hue and saturation and just change the hue of it it's really fun to do I mean check that out you can make it look really cool like a bowling ball thanks for watching the tutorial um, if you want to check out more tutorials go to my channel please comment rate and check out my partner's channel the butler 12125 um, I've got a link on my channel that you can go to and uh, yeah if you need to ask me anything feel free just ask a comment. Alright, talk to you later. Thanks for watching.